Experience all football has to offer. See Victory League live. Well, I'd like to think it wouldn't be an upset, but uh, we approach it like any other game. We've, we've had a difficult week with the weather, getting out on the track, but uh, I'm very happy with the way the players have gone about the business, and uh, I think we've prepared well. Always a difficult game, you know. I think we're a good side playing good football, so uh, we, we're going to have to work hard. Is this the game you look forward to the most, the games against Olympia in the Victory League season? Well, I think we've built up a, a little bit of history between the two clubs, uh, both buying to be top teams, and uh, they certainly apply pressure on us on a match day as well. So, yeah, we look forward to it. It's one of those in the calendar that you're looking forward to. Is there a bit of a concern at the moment about, especially last weekend, with the, the goal differences between the, the teams out there? Well, yes and no. I, I think we've been a bit hard on the bottom teams. Um, they have struggled and we conceded a few goals at the weekend. But generally, a lot of the games have been close encounters this year. And like with Glenorchy Knights, I think they're building for the future. If Chris can keep those players together, they'll be OK, they'll be strong. Um, I know Devonport had a lot of youngsters in against us as well, and they, they've got a bit of depth, so I'm sure they'll be okay. We've got the uh, FFA Cup locked in now for you know, the date and things like that. Uh, how will that tie in with your victory league? I'll check the fixture, but is it um, what, what day do you play before that Tuesday? Is it we, a Saturday? We play on the Sunday, but we're trying to get the game back to the Saturday. Um, I think it's Northern Rangers at home. Um, so yeah, it's a difficult game to be playing before, there's certainly not be a lot of work done in between that game. But our preparation for every game takes care of the FFA Cup, you know, our preparation has to be good, starting with Olympia this weekend. It's an unusual thing for you though as a coach, I guess, trying to back up a couple of days after having one game? Yeah, backing up in midweek is not usual, so that's, that's a new. Um, we're lucky that our... Uh, Trainers uh, Rob Aiken, T Tim uh, Undy, uh, provide you know provide us with recovery sessions as well after games, and that's become a very significant part of our preparation. Do you know much about uh, Tugger and Ong? Have you watched any tapes of them or anything like that? Yeah, we've had some footage. The footage was uh, a little bit deceiving because since then they've had quite a few changes, a new coach. Um, so again, we have to respect them. They're in a, the NPL in ACT. They're a, a good club. Uh, the president was on the phone the other day to our president for about an hour, so saying they're going to win the game, but we'll see about that. Uh, but we'll respect them, and we have information on them. Um, and probably two weeks' time, I'll go and have a look at them. Would you expect to start favourites playing at home, or is it just too hard to say with not knowing how you're going to match up and things like that? Yeah, it's difficult. I mean, we think we're in a good space being at home, and we'll be ready for them as well. Uh, and I guarantee our preparation will be very thorough, and we'll go into the game with a lot of confidence. All right, Connor, these uh, games against Olympia, ones that the playing group uh, circles on the calendar, I suppose, and look forward to? Yeah, I think. Um it's always good to have a top, you know, four clash with another team. Um, boss has been training us quite hard these past few weeks, so you know we get ready for these games and make sure we're on top for the game. I think it was three 0 last time you played to your advantage. Uh, did you change much from that, or has much changed since then? Do you think? Um, I think we're still be looking at playing a four three three possibly tomorrow. I'm not sure, um, but I mean, uh, I've got a couple of new players in the team, like Jaden Hay coming in, so it's kind of you know, it's good to. So they just boost our, uh, our players and everything like that. These games are, are always talked up, um, but you always seem to get the job done against Olympia. What do you think is the reason behind that? Um, I think, I mean, from last week's game um, up in Devonport, it was really, you know, just, just a fighting game. So we fought and had a lot of, um, you know, grew up, got inside of us and worked hard at the game. It wasn't much of a, a passing game or a skill game, but, um, you know, just a bit of desire and energy and effort. He always gets us over the line, so I mean that's what we're going to be trying to put in our game tomorrow. Hard not to put the oh, yeah put the back of your mind the big game in a couple of weeks and, and try and focus on the big early at the moment. Um, yeah, I mean at first you know once we qualified for the FA Cup we're all very excited, but you know week by week we take the games and um, you know once once we're up into the FA Cup that's when we think about it. But now we just think about the league and 
concentrate on that and make sure we keep winning our games. All right, Glenn, how do you uh, topple the best team in the comp? Well, uh, look, we've been playing some good football the last few weeks and um, we just continue to, to uh, try and dictate play and, uh, and just, um, yeah, just look to uh, have possession as, as much as possible. Glenorchy were sort of a little bit confident last week against you guys, but you come out and put five past them. Did that surprise you a little bit at all? No, our passing game was pretty spot on last week, so uh, uh, we put a little bit of a home ground uh, hoodoo to bed, so, uh, so that was good. But uh, no, we played some decent football, and, uh, and, and this time we're finishing our chances, so it was a good result. What about Darcy Street? Does that make it a little bit, that little bit tougher as well? Um, well, as long as the, the ground isn't too boggy, we'll be, we'll be okay. But uh, you look, it's, a, it's usually a good surface to play on and, and hopefully we'll get a decent crowd. Uh, ins and outs this week? Uh, so we've got Alex Holmes back from Brazil. Um, he won't be starting, obviously, but uh, he'll get some time in the development league tonight. Yep. Uh, see how he goes, but he'll be on the bench. And um, apart from that, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, and you can say more. Why some of those scores? Oh, look, I think it was just a uh, bit of an aberration, really. Um, I think, as Ken has said earlier, these clubs are uh, rebuilding, in their rebuilding phase, so I don't think it's a concern. I think they'll be strong in years to come, uh, particularly Knights and, uh, and, and uh, well, Money City have got a bit of work to do, obviously. But, um, yeah, so look, I, I think uh, for the long-term side of the game, I think it's quite healthy. Zebra's put 12 past Longing City. Are they a 12 goal better side than Longing City? Is that indicative of the gap? I think it was just one of those games where whenever Zebra's uh, pushed up front, pushed forward, they, uh, they scored. So it was just uh, just one of those games which I think uh, you know, Kurt will want to put to, put to bed and, and move on. So, um, But yeah, obviously they have some work to do, but I think the other clubs, uh, the other clubs will be good in the next few years. Do you think they have improved though, Lonnie City, since Kurt's come on board in last year? Oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. We, we have actually, although we have beaten them each time we've played them, it's been reasonably close. Uh, nothing like the 12 mil of last week. So uh, we've found them difficult to break down. Uh, and certainly they, have, they are an improved outfit from last year. All right, well, uh, yeah, South Hobart this week, is it, uh, how, what's the feeling amongst the playing group when you come up against the, the league leaders? Um, yeah, I think the boys are always always pretty confident heading into games. Um, pretty happy with where we're at at the moment, and like Glenn's just said, we've been playing pretty well the last few weeks. So, uh, feeling around training this week's been good, and I think we're feeling pretty confident heading into the match. Do you get up for those games more than others? Do you think? Or um, yeah, I think we've got a group that um, can rise to the occasion on big days, especially uh, we've seen in cup finals over the last couple of seasons that we've risen to the occasion. So. Yeah, definitely the added pressure maybe on the occasion helps a few of the boys get up and really perform. You, you can't ever seem to quite knock South Hobart off. You're sometimes pretty fancy to do so. Does that have a mental effect or anything? Does it give them a mental edge? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, since the start of the Victory League last season, we haven't um, been able to get points off them, but uh, we've had a few close ones with them scoring some 90th minute winners and that sort of thing. So hopefully this time we can go the other way and we can maybe snatch the leg winner. But yeah, like I mentioned before, a lot of the boys are feeling pretty confident, so it should be a good game.